Today I'm shooting another video as I just received a brand new lens for me. It is the Light Lens Lab 35mm f2, also called the China Crown. If you noticed that last year uh, on the Rangefinder Forum, you will notice that people were talking about a lens which is called China Crown. It is actually this one here. So originally when they launched this lens at the first place, it is 499 US dollars. And then at some point they raised the price to around 700 US dollars. And the one I got here, it is a limited edition, which is called Henry Brayson edition. It costs, it is actually around 1000 US dollars. And when I buy this limited edition package, it is limited to 200 pieces. It comes with a black pen UV and also a black pen lens hood. So the one I got here, I haven't opened it yet, but when I ship it from China, the shipping companies need to examine the package. That's why it looks like it's opened. So we're going to open this one together and to share my first impressions on this lens. I have ordered this lens for half a year and I haven't seen the actual lens yet. Okay. So this one looks like the instructions. Let me see. But I opened up the lens hood and also UV to see to save some time. So that's a packaging for the UV and the hood. So let's see the instructions here. So is the MTF diagram and also the brief instructions for this lens here. And for this limited edition, it is L39 mount, but it comes with an adapter. And I have the L39 original Leica Summicron here, 35 mil. It is also called the eight elements. The, the closest focus lens is actually one meter, but for this one here, the replica, it is actually 0 0.7 meter, which is more useful for me. Okay, and the reason why it is called the Henry Brayson edition is because that originally Henry Brayson ordered one special black Leica 35mm Summicron from the factory back in the old days. And I'll just show you here. And there was only one original lens existed. Okay, that's the leather case comes with it and here is actual lens that's a lens cap which is made of brass and also the rear lens cap light lens lap here and also the uh, elements it is showing the elements here so it is it has eight elements in six groups so you will notice the focusing tab is quite different here it is really similar to the rigid one. And I believe Henry Brisson really likes about this kind of focusing tab. That's why he's not preferring the original one. This one has infinity lock. So as this one, but I guess it is much easier to use with the gloves while you are shooting during winter time. And that's a rear cap. It is also made of metal. And that's a front cap here. Because for this lens, it is made of brass. So it feels heavier than the original one. The original one here, it is made of alloy. So even if you buy the original black paint one, only the very early one has uh, the brass back mount. But for the remaining lenses, most of them, they are all made of alloy. But even for the original black one, the very early ones, the mount was made of brass. But for the focusing part, it is also alloy. So once the black pen is uh, losing a bit, and you can notice the it's actually not showing brushing. It's actually showing some white uh bare metal underneath it okay so i'm going to show you all the details about this lens here it is 
made in China and also has infinity lock. It feels heavy. It really feels heavier than the original one. And also the way they made the adapter is slightly different than the original one. So this one is actually much thinner. Okay. And for the red dog, it looks a bit different as well. They use another different material. And when they made all this replica lens, they actually made every single part to be one millimeter bigger than the original one. So they won't be used as the uh, parts for the original lenses, which I really appreciate. And also it comes with the black UV and I also bought a bare brass UV from them as well. This one, I think it looks really cool. And for the lens hood, this one is Light Lens Lab China. And it's mentioning all lenses it, it can be used with. I also have an original lens hood here. And this one is made of brass. Okay. Also, this one is a copy of IROOA lens cap, lens hood, and this one is ITDOO. So, although they are different, but they can all be used on these lenses. And I'm going to measure the weight of these two lenses to compare. Let's see. Okay, so the weight of the light lens lab lens is 224 grams. And for the original L39, eight elements, I'm going to marry it with the uh, adapter here. So the lens itself, let me see. The lens itself, oh, sorry, it cap fell on me. So I, I remember I measured it before. The, this one is 154 grams, so it's like uh, 50, 50 grams if we are not considering about the adapter. So almost 50 grams lighter than the Black Lens Lab one. And since this one is a brand new lens, I haven't used it yet. I'm going to shoot with it and to show you guys some sample pictures and to post another video to talk about that part. But for now, I'm going to post some of the sample pictures of the original for, uh, first generation Sumicron and to show you guys uh, how it looks like. It, it actually has a vintage look and also when you shoot with it wide open, it, especially when you have sunshine and it's, it's going to show some Leica glow as well, which I really like about. I hope they actually kept that character but i heard many good stories about this like lens lab lens because i noticed that some sample pictures from other users it's actually also showing the light that glow which looks really nice i just realized that i've got to compare something here so look at the coating here looks like they are having exactly the same coating and the back of it and also let's see the blades. Okay, here's the original one. As you can see, the blades of the original lens is a bit worn because of its age. But for this lens here, it's actually brand new. So they are having, they are having the same coating and also the same blade. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Back now.